Hi everybody, this is Nolan with Arrow Teardrops. Thank you for joining us today. I just wanted to show off a brand new trailer that's gonna be heading home to a customer here in the next few days. Uh, this is our Selwood model with a full wet bath in it. So shower and a composting toilet. We'll get more into that in a little bit. This particular customer uh, decided to name this trailer Luna, and this is actually gonna be a trailer that's lived in full time. So um, I think it's got a lot of really great features and we'll highlight a few of those coming up here. So up front here, we've got uh, two propane tanks, um, which will run the, uh, the gas powered heater, uh, water heater, all that kind of good stuff. Um, we also have four scissor jacks. So on each corner of this trailer, you've got jacks to stabilize the whole trailer. Uh, and then while we're standing here looking at it, we also have an awesome window for motion windows. Uh, they're located over in Washington. And what I really love about this is it gives you almost a 180 degree view, uh, including the side windows. So it's just a really great aesthetic for uh, being outdoors. So uh, let's take a quick peek around to the side of the trailer and we'll show off some features over there as well. So over on this side of the trailer, uh, we've got the side entry door, which actually features a, uh, a bug screen door as well. So you can use this separately if you wanted to get some uh, fresh air into the trailer. Uh, we also have a pull out step. This is the vent for the um, propane heating system. Vent for the range hood in the kitchenette. Uh, some exterior LED lights as well. So if you're really trying to you know, light it up a little bit over here, you can do that. Uh, this piece of track is for a 27 inch table um, that side mounts onto here. So if you wanted to do a little extra cooking outside, maybe some food prep, uh, it's a great addition. And we also offer that in a 50 inch length as well. Uh, external propane hookup. So for stoves, barbecues, all that kind of stuff, you can have a little um, supplemental propane there couple additional windows on the side here and also an exterior um, accessible storage compartment. Uh, we currently have the 27 inch table there but you know great for wheel chocks all that kind of stuff. So in the back of the trailer here we've got a full-size spare tire, a rear receiver so if you want to throw some extra bikes or additional storage back there you can do that. As we move towards the side of the trailer, uh, we also have a escapable window, a fresh water connection for the um, 40 gallon water tank that's currently on this trailer, a city water connection. So if you have a city water hookup, you can just run directly through that. And then also an exterior shower as well. So this particular shower has a hot and cold water feature. So great if you're looking to hose some stuff off outside. And then as we move over to the side here, here's your access for um, your water heater. So if you need, ever need to service that, do that kind of stuff, you can do it here. Here's your shore power hookup. We use a 30 amp RV power center, which is a auto detect system. Uh, so you can put a wide variety of batteries in it. And then also a solar hookup as well. So if you're looking for a little bit of supplemental power, um, we also have a ZAMP branded uh, solar connector here. So as we get into the interior of the trailer, uh, a few of the items that we've got in here is the dinette area. This actually converts into a queen, sorry, twin size bed area. We've got some storage cabinets up top here. We've got a Dometic thermostat here for the Dometic Penguin AC system. Uh, this particular system requires a shore power hookup. Um, with that said, we do have a fan inside of the bathroom. We also have a multimedia center here. So Bluetooth as well as the uh, DVD player for the flat screen. And then uh, we also have our power center located down below there, a remote switch for the inverter that this particular customer wanted installed as well as a 110 hookup if you're hooked up to shore and a 12 volt and USBs. So as we get into the kitchen area here, first thing that you'll notice is that we've got a dual burner stove. This all runs off the propane. We also even have a range hood up here with a light as well as a fan obviously that uh, vents externally. 
We even have a little extra pop-out countertop here. So for a little extra cook prep space, we've got a sink, uh, the propane heater down below, little extra storage area here for all your kitchen utensils, pots and pans, all that kind of good stuff. And then um, some additional cabinetry up top here as well for some additional cooking items. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention initially too is that there's also a pop-out countertop on this other side. So lots and lots of horizontal space here for, uh, for doing your kitchen and cooking prep. As we get back into the trailer a bit, um, this is the main bedding area. So this is a double size bed. Currently it's in its couch configuration, but it easily pops into um, the bed formation as well. Before we do that, I wanna call out a couple other things out here. We've got our full window on the back, the escape window on the side here, which we pointed out a little earlier. We've got uh, opening windows on this side as well with bug screens. And then also the uh, pull-out flat-screen TV is here, is here as well. Uh, you can see lots of store op storage options down below. So we've got pull-out drawers. We've got some cabinets as well. Um, some access panels over here as well, if you ever need to get to anything like the uh, water pump or anything like that. And to kind of show you how the bed converts, uh, it pulls out straight out this way. And then you can see these cushions pop out to fill the additional space. So as we get into the wet bath area, one of the things I wanted to call out first was that this particular customer had us make a custom wood door. Um, certainly something that we can do if you're interested, um, but it is a uh, add-on option. As we get into the shower bathroom area, we've got this nice pull-out waterproof door that slides over, an airhead composting toilet with an external vent, and then also uh, a full-size shower as well. So this particular shower has a 40-inch shower pan, so quite a bit of uh, leg room in there. Um, it also has its own vent fan as well, uh, which you can use for the regular usage of the trailer or for um, venting out any sort of water vapor. <laughs> as we kind of move over to our left here, um, they also decided to go with a, a 108 sized uh, refrigerator, which I think is an awesome option on these cell woods. Um, they have the space for it. Some additional cabinetry up top here as well. Tons and tons of storage space. Some drawers down below here as well. And uh, an access here for um, some of the additional duct work. Thanks everybody for checking out our video today on the brand new Selwood heading home. Uh, if you have any questions about features or what comes standard with this model versus add-ons, you can reach out to us at sales at aeroteardrops.com or you can call us at 503-597-8714. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.